Today I'm going to review my bear canister, the Garcia Machine Backpackers Cache. I've owned this bear canister for close to a year now, and I've used it on a number of random camping backpacking trips. I want to tell you why it's not only an excellent bear canister, but also one of my favorite pieces of gear that I carry with me. If you don't know what a bear canister is, let me explain. Otherwise, you can skip ahead to this time in the video for the review. A bear canister is simply a food storage device for use in bear country. When you're staying overnight anywhere in bear country, your food needs to be stored safely. Sometimes this means using a bear locker provided by a designated campsite, although if you're camping outside of designated campsites, also known as random camping, then you're going to have to do a bear hang. And there's no safer way to do a bear hang than with a bear canister. Most people won't opt for the bear canister unless it's required by the park in which they're backpacking, but I would recommend using one all of the time. So for the review of the canister, let's start with the specifications. This bear canister is 30.5 centimeters or 12 inches tall. It measures 20.3 centimeters or 8 inches in diameter. It has a volume of 10 liters and it weighs 1.25 kilograms or 2.75 pounds. It is available in black and costs about 100 Canadian dollars, however, is no longer available at Mountain Equipment Co-op. It is available at REI for 75 US dollars. So what do I like about the bear canister? Firstly, it is very well designed. Opening the lid is simple. All you need is a coin or a multi-tool or some other piece of flat metal to turn these two tabs and take the lid off easily. The bear canister itself is sleek and looks very nice. It fits easily into the sleeping bag compartment of my backpack, and it even doubles as a camp chair, which is the one thing that makes the extra weight bearable. It also fits a lot of food. On most of my trips with the bear canister, I've been in a group of three for just a single overnight trip. And when it comes time to do the bear hang, the canister is usually about half full. This means that if you're using the canister for just yourself, you can expect it to last up to six nights. However, if you take into account the bear canister when you're doing your meal prep, and you avoid bulky items like bread or cereal, you could potentially extend this to seven or even eight days. Now for the reason people actually buy bear canisters. It is very effective. After the National Park Service began requiring backpackers to use bear cans in Denali in 1984, there was a 95% decrease in bears obtaining food and an 88% decrease in property damage in the backcountry. Put very simply and clearly by Dave Smith in his book, Backcountry Bear Basics 2nd Edition, bear canisters are highly, highly effective. Not only is the bear canister an effective food storage device, but it's also a very helpful piece of gear in my pack. The canister offers a few more advantages than just keeping your food safe. As I mentioned, the bear canister works very well as a camp seat, and combined with a bum pad on top, it can actually be extremely comfortable. But the bear canister also helps to compartmentalize your pack. During the day, when your food is spread from the bear canister into your pack to the hip pockets and more easy access locations, you can use the extra space in the canister for camp items or anything else that you won't need during the day. I like to fill it with my camp shoes, extra socks, cooking stuff, anything like that. This helps to get stuff out of the way that I won't need during the day making it easier to access things that I will need, like layers and food and so on and so on. The Garcia Machine Backpackers Cache is not only an excellent bear canister, but it is one of my favorite pieces of gear that I carry with me. If you're looking for an excellent bear canister, I would highly recommend picking one of these up. Unless, of course, you disagree with this review, then let me know down below what you think I am wrong about, or which bear canister you would prefer over this one. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to like and share. It really helps to grow the channel. Stay tuned for the next video coming soon.